the increase in distressed properties available for end users, long-term investors and occupiers, alongside interest rates cuts expected in late 24 and early 25, will bring more investors back to the market, increase sales volumes, and increase the opportunity for a lot of long-term owners. September marks the start of the academic year when non-local student quota of publicly funded post-secondary institutions are expected to double, allowing 40% of admissions. Demand for student accommodation is expected to surge in the city and there remains significant opportunity in that space. SFC data shows that Hong Kong domicile funds saw net fund inflows of $33 billion in the first quarter of 24, following a 93% jump last year, according to the July published annual survey by the SFC. The increase in assets under management, a highly diversified investor base, globalized asset allocation and robust inflows have solidified Hong Kong's position as an asset and wealth management hub. The asset and wealth management industry in Hong Kong is set to grow further in the coming years.